Hello, welcome back to... Uh, almost said Into the Breach. Uh, to Death's Cold Embrace. We are currently exploring the Mechanist... Sorry, the Hammerite Chapel. Hoping to find information on bringing people back from the dead. Or failing that, at least enough loot to make it worth a trip. Something moved, thought I saw. Nay. All is well now. It was but the wind on the torches. We do have a guard drawing here, so this is the library. I see. No one walks here now. No one at all. Hello? Who art thou? I be no one. All is well now. Why is it so bright? The wind on the torches. If thou be there, be speak thyself. Nothing, and I know not what it was. <laughs> they keep almost seeing me, but not quite, which is good, because uh, I'm very low on hell. I don't want to be chased around. But I do want a chance to knock him out there. However, what I do see I can do is probably leap up. Hello? Show thyself. Uh, well, okay. All is silence now. Wait, well, it's darker in this room. Ah, uh, no hit points. Well, it's not very much darker. So I need to deal with this patrolling gentleman. I need to deal with this person who is somehow happy to stand here staring at nothing. Can't read that. Then I need to hunt all over the stacks for extra valuables following the hint in the other note I found. I'll wait for this guard to go by first, because he is uh, the bigger threat. At least I found a nice dark corner here to sit in. So when he's gone, I will... deal with this other gentleman. Anyway, he's far enough away. Must someone come? It seems nothing now. There indeed is nothing now. Where does this guard traverse? And how many other people are in this library? There he goes. Well, he'll come back this way and I can uh, give him a quick visit from uh, old Blackjack here when he does. A little patience will help, especially when I'm that low on health. Uh, this tea is good to hot. Are you there, sir? Mm. Well, that's just what I was about to say myself. Okay, now, if this library has secret passages through books manipulated, you know, hidden bookshelves, I will be quite upset because there is so many bookshelves. Is this ladder climbable? Oh, it is. Ha! Ah. So you can sneak about on top of the shelves with care. Alright, it's nice and dark up here. I guess we can find out if there is anyone else. Hmm. Oops. Well, that's another way to find out. Someone would have heard that. I guess there isn't. Right, what are we doing in here? Looking for... Why would they have books on necromancy? The Adventures of a Brother Bernard, Brother Bernard and the Dog. Blah blah blah, Brother Bernard and the Horse. I'll let you, leave you to imagine what Brother Bernard was doing with the dog and the horse. Uh, is there any reason to go up on top of the shelf there? If there was not, why would there be a ladder here? 
Aha! Secret book. The Ritual of Rebirth. Inscribe a red octacle upon the floor of the ritual chamber and place the deceased therein. Place four keystones, one each of death, life, spirit, and flesh, cardinally by compass points. When the deceased has risen, a donor must enter the octacle in forfeit. Then must the scrolls be burned. F first, fire hemp, then fire oak. Finally, dragon snap water weed. As the risen and her true love recite the mantra. Now well, the next page is torn off, so you can't see what the mantra is. But, well, this seems to be some of the information we're looking for, at least. The Book of Shadows. Uh, funny information on Ritual to Resurrect Julia. Okay, so we now we have to bring it back to him. Well, that was surprisingly easy. I didn't have to search much of the library at all. I will continue to... Well, oh, what's this? Note, I am out this evening on business, but should return before dawn. Brother Nathaniel. Attention, access to the restricted library requires the explicit written permission of Brother Thaddeus. Seekest Brother Nathaniel for the key once thou hast been granted permission. Alright, so we can't get in there today. I'll have a quick scour of the library for other loot, but I do think we've uh, achieved the what we needed to do. Ah, uh, loot. Anything up here? I do put the ladders here, so it's tempting to at least take a look. Well, it's not forbidden text, but it is a valuable one. Yeah. Well, whoops. That's right. No damage done. That's where I came in. So this is where our friend was sitting. Nothing value here. Creepy statue. Scrunched up note that I can't read. More scrunched up notes that I can't read. Okay. Lights to put out. I should really destroy all the banners, but uh, they probably have nothing behind them. What's up here? Anything at all? <laughs> nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, let's go down carefully. If I can. Come on. Down. Alright, no. That will do. Not as careful as I planned, but uh, we'll do. Where does this go? Oh, that must be the other upstairs place. Ah, uh, poems and prayers of piety. No thanks. I'll go back out the other door rather than the way I came in. One last corner check for the statue. Let's see if there's anything worth having up here. Nope. Alright, so uh, we have collected everything that was of value ever been here. Doesn't look familiar. Collected everything of value that I've been able to find in the library. And it is time to make our way back to Lord Fairbanks's house and meet him under his house in the caves. Bow before the builder. Oh, thanks. I will dance on the altar. It's noisy. Now, one thought just struck me. Uh, before... Oh, where's this go? Well, it also overlooks the main room. One thought struck me before I go back to Lord Fairbanks is there is the basement connecting to the kitchens here. And... Oh, there's ambience changed again. And I have not yet explored the basement. And... The kitchens were this way. I don't know whether there is anything important in the basement. But I should try and find out. Let's hope I won't be seen. Let's make it harder for us to be seen. Who has made that noise? Tis nobody. Ooh, 
Ooh. Creepy ambience. Well, here we are in the basement. With somebody patrolling where I can't see them and not much darkness to maneuver in. So let's just be patient a moment. There's one patrolling there. There's another to the right. I only hear the two people, so maybe that is all there is. <clears throat> yeah, this is a tiny duck shadow, I can't move at all. And another, alright. Don't just stop here, guys. Go patrol again. Aid me, Master Builder, in all the things that I must do. Guide me, Master Builder, and for all my days I'll serve you true. He's peering very closely at the lamp. Now, the other gentleman, are you also going to patrol away? I do hope the answer is yes, I don't have to. Uh, I can try hopping over here. <laughs> Identify thyself. I am the blackjack that strikes at men's heads. There's somebody asleep down here. Or oh, more than one. So at least two. Who made that noise? Uh, hello? Vigilance is our shield that protects us from the squalid past. You were not yeah, very vigilant. That's more like it. And navigate his compass. Don't think I need that. I do need that. And that. Right, so the uh, guy I tried to knock out is instead patrolling around, which is, uh, that's a bit of a fail on my part, isn't it? Oh, I do love poetry, so verily I have taken every book of poems from the library that I could find. Brother Nathaniel doth periodically admonish me and entreateth me to return the borrowed books, but I cannot. They are my comfort and my most treasured resource. How else to become a great poet but to study such material? And already they have been a boon. Why, just yes yesterday eve I wrote the following verse. My soul will be wrapped in harsh repose, midnight descendeth in raven coloured clothes, but soft behold, a sunlight beam cutteth a swath of glimmering and glimmering gleam. My heart expandeth, is grown abulgent, inspired by thy beauty effulgent. Ah, keep working on that poetry, mate. It's, uh. You do need the practice. Alright, so we've got another. We've got another person patrolling around there. One swordsman and one archer. Another flash bomb could be of, could be of use. Anything else in this corner? Nope. So here comes the swordsman, or not. Where did the archer go? Came. Walked out this way. Hearing some more snores. What's down here? Oof. Stairs up. Archer come up here and stand by the front door. <coughs> not facing my direction. Is oh! That me? Well, what happened there? <laughs> Nothing to see now, I fear. <laughs> <coughs> I just uh, got thrown backwards by random physics. 
Thankfully, into a lovely dark corner on top of the pew where he can't see me, and where I have spotted a ring I missed earlier. <laughs> uh, that's a stroke of blind luck. And I got new objectives. Uh, a respectable amount of loot. Well done. <laughs> Stop your singing. Uh, okay, well that was uh, unexpectedly fortuitous. This after I woke up, came upstairs, and in my failed attempt to knock him out, I found enough loot to get a bonus objective, uh, and uh, experienced the joy of flight for a moment. Um, back to the basement. So the swordsman's still patrolling down here, but I think he is the only one left. I'm not certain. Is this where I came down? No. So another way into the basement then. Did I miss this? That door doesn't open. This door does. Where does this go? Uh, simpler locks, please. Unless it's, you know, a good place for tension. I like really tedium. Oh, hello. Another corner of this chapel I've not been to? Oh, the door doesn't open. Let's just go. Oh, they have a side door. By the east gate. Where is the east gate? Well, I guess that makes sense. Wait, City Watch Station is by the East Gate. But that led to the Hammerites. Oh wow, the guy in their apartments is playing lots of loud music again, dramatic music, and uh, cats are scra uh, yowling at it. And that reminds me, I did not check out the apartments this time around, and the windows are still open. The music's changed. Mayhap there is more loot to be had there. However, <laughs> it's uh, useful to know that there's a back door to the east gate through the Hammerite Chapel's basement. I get the feeling that might come in handy later in this campaign. Is someone else asleep? Uh, bathroom stalls. Where's our sword wielding friend? What was that I heard? <laughs> it was nothing. And the builder said, <coughs> and fell on the floor <coughs> and rested. And the builder has such <coughs> memorable sayings. I think I'm hearing the footsteps from there. This basement is much bigger than I would have been led to believe. Uh, is that our sword friend? About to walk past the curtain. Or maybe not. Right, can I knock you out successfully? Vigilance is our shield that protects us from our squalor. Well, not the first time, but the second time works alright. Okay. <laughs> Steps coming closer. And going further away. Ha. Ah. Alright, 
Uh, it is a bit of a maze. Right, what else is in this room while I'm here? Let us be quick. More loot. More books. More loot. Alright. And then... Whoa. Alright. Uh, interesting electrics. I wonder. Nah. Cannot short circuit it. Not that I need to. I uh, was curious. So what is down this way? This was the first room I came in. Okay. First bedroom. And this way is, of course, where we first came into the basement. Great! Basement is explored. That means I'm now done with this chapel. Just need to get out of here. If I can remember the way out. Which is this way. Oh, that's the reading room. This way. Oh yes. Alright, and back to I guess the front door. Alright, chapel is done. Let's double check our objectives. Uh, I will need Dick Dolph. Return to Fairbanks once you have the information. He said he would wait in the cabins under the mansion. Right, time for a save. I will return to Fairbanks very shortly, but first... Well, firstly, there's the question of... Thaddeus's building here now has a door that is operable, but locked. Secondly, oh, that's the city watch office. <coughs> what happened to the guard who's in the way up there, is he? They've restocked their arrows, they... Have they refilled their safe? No. I will take arrows and a slow ball potion, sure. See if this gentleman is in a position to be popped on the bottom. Hmm. Oh, indeed. What do they report? Well, this is disturbing. Miller's body disappeared from the crime scene at some point in the night last night. Jordy was posted outside the door. He said he may have heard some noises coming from inside, but wasn't sure enough to go inside and investigate. More like wasn't brave or maybe sober enough to go inside and investigate. I can't really blame him. I guess after all that happened yesterday, Carson is still on leave to get over what he saw. Anyway, Captain cancelled the coroner's visit since there's no longer a body to examine. But the detective from Central Office is still going to analyse the crime scene and maybe Miller's body will turn up somewhere eventually. You skip ahead to current entries. Captain Roth didn't want to alarm the men, but he confided in me that there were reports from Oldale last night of a horrific creature strongly resembling Carson's description of the thing, breaking into some nobleman's estate and running off with the captain of the guard. I shudder at the thought of that creature still running wild throughout the city, wreaking havoc in Oldale of all places. I have to make sure the men don't hear about this, especially Carson, who lives near Oldale and is still battling nightmares and flashbacks of the Miller crime scene. Well, I guess when we in turn the lift on again, we let the thing out. That doesn't bode well for me, because that suggests that uh, I will encounter the thing again. Like, why would you foreshadow that it was escaped if I wasn't going to encounter it again? Alright. Look, east gate. There's more guards up ahead. Sighing noisily. Hmm. Thought I saw something. Nay. You are a nuisance. Oh. No one there. So, two oh, questions. Just... One, is that gate open? <clears throat> two, if not, can I climb over it? Three, is there anything new to loot out in this direction? Mr. still our uh, dramatic music man. Soldus, you leave me no choice but to evict you for failing to heed the multiple warnings about the loud Victrola music. You should expect an eviction notice under your door tomorrow morning. That is, assuming your neighbours don't evict you first. I sure hope they do. Uh, is it worth me trying to get upstairs again and into those rooms? Yeah, it shouldn't take long. 
us fire a Rebarra. Get up there, guy. Fine. Fine. Well, that's not climbing, that's falling. Slight but significant difference. Right. Firstly, Zombie Man is no longer here. Secondly, somebody has cleaned up all the bottles. How exceedingly thoughtful of them. I'll save, because I don't... Oh, let's say I don't have the hit points to uh, spare. So I'm just pulling them. Uh -huh. Oh, this is this... Uh, this is the guy who had uh, made a hole in the wall so he could be a peeping Tom and s stare at his neighbour in the bath. It worked! I was able to watch Mrs. Robinson undress and get in the bathtub. She's even more shapely and beautiful than I ever imagined. This will become a nightly ritual for me. Yeah. Well, alright. Is her window open though? Does she have any loot there? No, the window is not. Open. So it's time for me to return carefully to the ground. Well, that will do. I don't think I need the rope arrow again. I have two more. So I shall leave that uh, zone of adventurous music and find out about this gate. Thought. Come out! In the name of Sheriff Gorman Truitt! Who? Okay, you ask for it now. Come on, sir. Actually, where am I? Where am I trying to lead you? How about the chapel? <gasps> no. Nope. Ow. Me. Cover me. All right. Run away. Uh, that works. I mean, it opened the chapel door so I could run in there and hide. Not really for you to do so, but if uh, running in there and hiding is what you'd prefer to do, that's fine by me. Apartment 3 cannot be opened. Apartment 2 cannot be opened. Apartment 1 cannot be opened. Alright. My curiosity has been uh, satisfied. Back to the Fairbanks Manor. Leave that poor guard to get lost inside the uh, chapel, probably in the li library or the basement. Alright, I do need to be a little more careful now since there are still other people wandering the streets. But they're hunting over there for something. Probably me, but I don't know quite how or why. Let's go in the front door. And to the library. Now we have the information. We can use the secret door, which has opened a new passage to the caves. I bet you something is amiss down here. like getting stuck in the passage. All right. Caves. What dark secrets do you have in store for me? It's very quiet. And dark. What's this? Looks like a little chapel to the to the uh, trickster. Oh, is it just our friend here? Hmm. 
Garrett, what news? I think I found something that will do it. But there's a high price. Anything. I'll pay it. You must forfeit your own life. And your soul. My soul? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Tis only fair. Uh, a soul for a soul. Uh, what else is needed? First and foremost, her body is required. I take it you'll want me to... To retrieve it from the churchyard cemetery, yes. What else? You must inscribe a red octal on the floor in the ritual location. I can do that. And? There are four keystones that must be located. Life, death, spirit, and flesh. Oh my, wh where on earth will we find such things? That's likely to be the biggest problem. I'm going to have to scour Dayport for evidence of where they may be. Ah, uh, is that it? Unfortunately, no. We also need to inscribe a phrase on three different kinds of paper. Oh, that should be easy. The Quill Bookstore over on Farpoint Alley has all sorts of paper. Good. But that's not the problem. The problem is I don't yet know what the phrase is. I have the book here describing the ritual, but that page has been ripped out. Ah, <sighs> I see. So there's something else to find as well. Right. Assuming it even exists anymore. Speak not like that. We shall succeed, and you will be a very rich thief. I certainly hope so, Lord Fairbanks. Oh, one last thing. The dead's true love must be present. Apparently that bond is what draws the spirit back into the body. As much as I hate to admit it, her true love must be none other than Robert Highwater. Getting Robert here won't be easy. Okay, uh, first you need to find Brother Thaddeus. He's a Hammerite priest and an old friend of both families. According to Julia's diary, Thaddeus was going to marry them in the near future. Here's the key to his apartment. Uh, thank goodness I have a copy. Tell him what we're trying to do and instruct him to go seek out Robert and somehow convince him to come here and participate in the ritual. Okay. Thaddeus may even have information on the missing page or the keystones. Then I should head for the cemetery. Take care with my little flower, Garrett. I'll begin preparing the optical. But we're not done yet, okay? So, that's a long laundry list of uh, things for Garrett to do. We have to find Brother Thaddeus, and now we have a key to his door. Okay, that explains why there wasn't a key to be found before. Tell him what's going on, and instruct him to convince Robert to come to Fairbanks Manor for the ritual. Then make my way to the East Gate. Okay. Almost done, but not quite. But, it looks like next next mission, Garrett is going to be making, uh, changing from, well he's already been thief, he's been uh, research assistant. Oh, there's a keeper book. What are you doing with that? Uh, thief, research assistant, what else? He's about to become a grave digger, or grave robber in, in fact. Well, I guess that's the way of it, let's make our way back to the streets. At least Brother Thaddeus' place is not far away. We know where it is. We have the key now. There it is. And from there, the East Gate is just across the street from uh, Brother Thaddeus' apartment. Although that uh, watch officer that we uh, woke up will be uh, back. Whoa! What are you doing there? Just you wait, Taffer. Just you wait. I'm waiting. Well, good thing I know an escape route. Because, uh... God was, for some reason, waiting for me to break in. Not a problem. Now, I don't know if that was just coincidence or whether it was scripted to happen, but uh, either way, it was uh, good timing. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Ah, Thaddeus is. He appears to be asleep. Here he is upstairs. Don't 
Does he have loot? Yeah. Check the important things. I'll talk to him shortly, but uh, if he's got loot, that's uh, far more important than than the mere mere discussions. Oh, he has cucumbers, and I got back a hit point. Nice. That's also far more important than discussions. Is he awake now? Sounds like it. Oh, the lift is disabled. I can't go upstairs. Yeah, well, next time. Hmm. Hello? Hello? H Hello? Brother Thaddeus? Yes, and thou art? Healthier than you. Indeed. Yet I be not too ill to defend myself, ruffian. Who hath sent thee? Relax. I was sent by Richard Fairbanks, who gave me the key. Ah, poor man. The death of Julia weighs most heavily upon him. So what be thy business here? He hired me to find a way to bring her back to life. <coughs> what? And I've succeeded. Blasphemy! <coughs> thy serpent tongue doth lie. No, really. Look at this. Hmm. This be... Wait. Oh, Builder, thou art correct. He asked me to gather the components, but as you can see, there's one component which only you can obtain. Master Robert, <coughs> yes. Unfortunately for thee, I am unable to make that journey. This cursed illness hath sapped all mine energy. <coughs> you, Mr. Uh... Garrett. You, Mr. Garrett, shall have to go in my stead. Give him this. It will help allay his suspicions, along with the book. <coughs> As further corroboration, thou shouldst take my rosary. It is upstairs, in the bedroom. I'll get it. Are there any texts here which might shed some light on the location of the keystones? Perhaps thou canst look. I am weary and need sleep. Okay, I'll have a look around. Rest and get better, brother. Good luck to thee, Garrett. <coughs> Thy serpent tongue doth lie. Well, good night there. Okay, so we have... A change of objectives, not make our way to the East Coast, but uh, search the place for information on the keystones before leaving. Uh, return to the Highwater Estate yourself, so take Thaddeus' rosary. That, plus the note, plus the book of shadows should convince Robert. Then head for the North Gate. Alright, that's a much further way around. Alright, what does this note actually say? Can I read it? So that's the book of shadows. Where's the note? There we are. Master Robert, the man giving you this note looks dangerous, but I trust his words. He was sent by Lord Fairbanks on a quest. A quest to bring Julia back to life. I know you wish this to come to me as much as I, and so hear him out and read the book he shows you. Although a term of darkness, it describes a ritual which may actually succeed and which requires your participation. Your friend always, Brother Thaddeus. <laughs> Brother Thaddeus Sachu, to give him his full name. <laughs> Alright, so now this works. Alright. As I guess it's fair enough, they decided not to, to disable it before. To disable it initially. That? No, it's just a book. Alright. Two doors. Here we have a bedroom. He has a very, very nice model ship there. That's uh, impressively detailed for the Dark Engine. I think a few more polygons on that than they would have been able to afford back in uh, the original days. So there's his rosary. Oops. Wrong, wrong keys. This door does not open. Today my faith in humanity hath been restored. Robert Highwater and Julia Fairbanks, the children of bitter rivals Alan Highwater and Richard Fairbanks, came to me in confidence and did reveal to me that they are madly in love. Clearly their predicament is one which requireth a delicate balance, but their decision to trust in me in the, this greatest secret of their lives is most endearing. May the Builder grant me the wisdom and fortitude to do right by them. Should the situation be mishandled, it could become most explosive. 
I advise them to keep their love a secret for the present, and vow to work discreetly on both fathers to lay the groundwork for an eventual declaration. I assured them I would be most happy to marry them come springtime, if I felt the families were ready to accept it. You skip ahead to more recent entries. Why does everybody write that? January 20th. Tis with a most heavy heart that I prepare a eulogy for our sweet Julia. As yet, no opportunity had arisen for me to speak to Richard, to begin preparing him, so he must have learnt of, of the affair himself in some manner. Sadly, he ordered his son Edwin to challenge Master Robert to duel to the death, but alas, twas dear, dear Julia who, uh, twas dear Julia instead who perished. O oh, Builder, why hast thou cast such tragedy upon these families? I am concerned for both Edwin and Robert. Nought hath been seen of Edwin since he mistakenly slew his sister, and I fear Robert is in the depths of depression. By the Builder's grace they will come round to see me soon, that I may help them move past their grief. Both lads had such promising futures. 22nd. I called on the Fairbanks this morning, and I must say I was most shocked by Richard's countenance. He seemed barely to recognise me, and was clearly bordering on madness and preoccupied with the tragic events of the week past. No doubt the fact that Edwin hath never returned weigheth heavily upon both him and Elizabeth. Speaking of his Elizabeth, I had the chance to speak to her alone, and she confessed to being quite troubled by Richard's behaviour since the burial. I urged her to leave for a time, should it become too much to bear. Alright, uh, no information there on the location of the keystones, but we did get his rosary. It's a big lantern perched prominently over a book, which is no doubt the book I need to read. Or not. Wait. Oh, okay. Just to place some information on the keystones before leaving. I'm doing that. But, uh, that is not the book I need to read. That's, uh... Is there anything on top? <laughs> nope. Uh, chew yourself. Uh, these books are lighting up. So is there a book with the info? Uh -huh. This appears to be an old journal log written by members of the local Hammerite Order. You scan the book looking for information and find an entry logged around 35 years ago. While most elemental talismans or keystones are attuned to the elemental forces of earth, air, fire, and water, some sets known to exist are instead attuned to the twin spiritual dichotomies of life and death and flesh and spirit. It was but a fortnight ago that such a set arrived here at the chapel, in fact, and we were charged with the care of the spirit keystone, which Brother Maynard did secure in the restricted library with all due haste. I would have preferred to keep the death keystone, but was not left to me. The eventual destinations of the other three keystones are unknown, but all their protectors were instructed to keep them in the vicinity of Dayport. I suspect our old friends the Keepers may have at least one of them, but the locations of the others remaineth a mystery to us. Brother Matthean. Okay, we've got the information on the keystones. Apparently one of them is in the restricted library, which was not accessible in this mission, so we're not picking up this mission, we're just going back to the north gate. Alright, so we're almost done here. Well, we're done here in this building, but we're almost done with uh, this mission. Just turn off the light in case anybody's watching. So, although the east gate is closer, we're going back to the north gate. Oh, hello. Hey, hands over your head. Why? Does it help me escape faster? Let's get this creep. Come on, chase me. Oh wait, he's an archer. I don't want him to wake up. North gate. Come on. Mission, mission end. Hey, stop right there! No! You've had it now. Oh dear. <sighs> Let's put this tapper away. It was your last warning. Please don't put me away. Oh dear. I thought that was an off gate. Oh dear. It's not going as well as I had planned. Help 
me get this guy. Let's take a shortcut. I don't want to fall soon. Where am I going? Halt. No! Oh dear, the archer is onto us. This is not going well. I think I must run away to my bakery uh, hidey hole. I am just waiting. Alright. Oh, that was uh, a little... Just a little ridiculous. You let's see how come back here. Alright, she saw me. Where are you? I guess I have to wait up here until they uh until they all cool down and cool off a little. Uh, let's check the map. So if that wasn't the north gate, then where is the north gate? Oh the north gate is there. Just round to the just around the corner. All right, maybe I can get there without worrying about these gentlemen. All right, I can go this way, surely. It shouldn't matter that they're on my tail. If the mission completes, I will. I'll be fine. Here we are, North Gate. Don't kill me. Ah, mission complete. <laughs> In uh, dramatic fashion. So that was a much longer mission than I expected. Lots of stuff happening. It took us. Let's check the stats. It took us two hours, sixteen minutes. We found almost 3,000 out of 4,000 loot. That's not very good in terms of uh, what we missed. I don't know where. We found five out of four secrets. Uh, we're doing pretty well on these finding secrets. They're finding more than exist. Uh, and, uh, well, we didn't kill anyone. That's, that's part of the job. So, uh, that is... Seeking Council with Shadows complete. Next mission. Well, things are getting thicker. We're gonna have to find a body. We're gonna have to find some talismans. We're gonna have to do this ritual and bring Julia back to life. And I fear we're gonna run into the, uh, the nurse guard robot thing again at some point. So, uh, it's a little shorter than, than usual, but I'm gonna cut this episode. I'm gonna end it here. And next time, we'll return for whatever the next mission happens to be. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And I will see you next time I stream or in the next episode if you're on YouTube.